Hello and thank you for tuning in to this video tutorial on making an Aurora type gradient logo. Uh, there's going to be an Aurora gradient going through the icon and I'm going to teach you how to do that within Illustrator today. I do want to apologize and uh, recognize that I know that you can see these lines going through um, my video tutorials because my screen resolution on my computer has to be set lower when using Hypercam, the Hypercam software. Um, trust me, it's it's better that you have to deal with these lines than having to watch the video with my audio not synchronized up with it. That can be very frustrating. So first things first, we're going to open a new document. I'm just using a 700 pixel by 700 pixel artboard. Um, RGB is fine. And since this is vector, it really doesn't matter what size, what size you're going to use. That's totally up to you. When you use vector, you can put these, these images on billboards on the freeway, or you can shrink them down to fit up in the corner of a business card. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's just make, let's make a black rectangle, something like this. And the first thing that we're going to do is go to effect warp flag. We'll put it at 20%. If you want to preview it, you can. And now we are going to put in a gradient. So you want to make sure that you have your gradient panel open. And if it's not, you can find it underneath the window menu. And my gradient panel's right here. I'm going to pull that out for a moment and place this one right in there. So for my gradient, I want to get my, my swatches out as well. And where are my swatches? Right there. So I'll pull this panel out. And for the first color, I'm going to use a light orange. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key, pull it over to 25%, and pull this orange down on top of that. I'm going to duplicate that one again by holding the Alt key, go to 50%, and let's use, let's use this light pink, and we'll duplicate that one, I'm going to go to 75%, and let's go there, and for the last one we will use this navy blue slash purple color. And that should look pretty good. I think I might switch these two. That's how I had it in the last one that I did. 50%. Let's type it in. Okay. Yes, that looks pretty good. And... Okay. I'm going to save this gradient by placing it up there. Okay. And I'll place that back in there. Done with my swatches. Well, I can leave that on for the moment. Okay. So we have the, the main part done, the main icon. Let's go down to effect, stylize, and we will give it a drop shadow. And First of all, of course, you want to make it selected, stylized, drop shadow, preview. Now, I set mine at 0 for the X offset and 7 pixels for the Y offset. So it gives it a little bit deeper gradient at the bottom. And the blur is set at 5 pixels. Color is the default black. Okay. Um, so we're almost done. Let's just type in our text tool and for this, I'm going to type in Aurora 
and the font is air conditioner. I'm going to have my caps lock down. Aurora. And I want to make this pretty big. it about right there and now we want to give this word a gradient and we're going to give it kind of a, a shiny look so we're going to be using our grays within here and let's we can just get rid of these first of all I'll use this the the darkest gray right there then the next one I'm going to put right in here, delete these, just throw them off there. Put that at 50%. The next one, I'll probably choose right here above this light gray. And I'm going to place it right next to there, but I'm going to move it at 50% as well. And last one, I'm going to use just the slightly lighter gray. And I'll pull that into my swatches as well. And let's click on our gradient. And with our word selected, we want to click on our gradient. Okay, so now that we have our shiny, glossy gradient for our type, we want to make sure that our type is selected. Go to Type, Create Outlines. And we can see that it's applied to our word, but we want to make this at a 90 degree angle. And it flows through by being at 50%. The gradient flows through real nice right in the middle of, of our R's. So that looks pretty sharp. And one last final touch that you can do is copy your icon, control C and control F, and then bump it up a little bit. Do it again, control C, control F. And then you got kind of a layered look. It looks kind of fancy. I think I like that. You can select everything and bump it up and center it in the middle of your icon, or excuse me, your artboard, rather. So there we go. Easy, simple icon made in Illustrator. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you'd like to get more easy tutorials to learn or to watch and learn some skills within Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks. Bye.